Okay, well, I'm showcasing two things, but I'll start with our remote site device. Um, our site devices are the intelligent devices that actually are rack stacked, wall mounted, or cabinet mounted at a cell site and they collect all the critical telemetry uh, for tower, tower operators and service providers um, at a cell site. One thing we provide in comparison to our competition is we provide right size devices in terms of I.O. capacity and the applications we support. Um, actually, to IP-based cameras, uh, serial-based network elements such as GenSec controllers, and we collect all the information that is available on the, in the GenSec controller and we upstream it to, to Optum, which I'll talk about shortly. Our remote RMX3200 is our CO based large size device uh, solution. This device has basically two times the I.O. capacity of our RMM1400. One thing that I need to also point out is what you see on the outside is not all that you get. Um, each of our devices has a Linux based operating system and they have an application suite that allows you to interface to HVAC controllers, GenSec controllers, um, and you can monitor temperature as well using our onboard temperature and humidity sensors. Now, a lot of our customers want to be able to terminate their discrete uh, I.O. We, we actually provide two alarm blocks. Uh, the one that I'm featuring here is the RMB1. We also have RMB2 that's rack mounted, but this device provides 64 dry contacts. Um, it also provides an onboard temperature sensor. How do you power it, you ask? Well, you power it with a uh, power over ethernet, and that's provided by the RMM 1400 and the RMX. And the device, also provides a 24 volt DC output, which is very useful when you're powering uh, like a fuel sensor or other sensors um, that are present at a site. So that's our remote site uh, suite, remote site device suite.